The Labour government is seeing a child being killed every 10 minutes, but won't call for a ceasefire. Happy to talk weasel words, but weasel words are not going to stop war crimes. You can't even bring yourselves to condemn Israel for the almost 11,000 killings that they have done. I mean, how, how much cowardice are we going to see from this government? I mean, truly, have a heart. There are people out there who are telling us that they don't really want to be used anymore by the Labour Party as props to come and take photos with us at our religious events, at Eid, at Ramadan, during Iftar. They're tired of it. They are tired of being taken for granted. You need to represent the people who elected you. Hospitals are under siege. There are babies in incubators who are now dying. Wake up, Labour. Wake up and call for a ceasefire now. I noticed in that contribution there was not one message, me mention of terrorism, of Hamas, of hostages. Border. Border. It, <laughs> this is not a binary debate. I would ask the Greens political party to reflect on how they are handling this debate. I would ask them to reflect on whether this is a, a time where you want to uh, make political differences about political parties or whether this is a time where all of us as political leaders might actually, might actually need to ensure that the distress and grief that we all know, all know is in our communities, in the, uh, in the Jewish community too, single loss of life since the Holocaust in any day as well as our Palestinian, Arabic and Islamic communities. Maybe our job is not to amplify that distress. Maybe our job is not to foment division in the hope that there is some political advantage. Maybe our job as leaders is to try and... Here we go again. Maybe your job as a leader is not to chant a slogan and not to amplify distress into anger and violence, which is what we have seen, Maybe our Order. job as leaders is to ensure that we do not allow this to divide our country. Yeah, yeah.